at Lutheran High School where tonight the Crusaders take on Crosstown rival Sheboygan Christian. Hello everybody, alongside Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, this is the third time this year the teams are facing off. Uh, it's been all Lutheran, they've won by 16 and 17 points. Does that make a difference tonight, however? Well, I talked to Coach Decker just prior to uh, the game. I talked to him about four o'clock and he said, you know, it's that third time. You gotta play him that third time. Beating the team three times is always tough. So. Coach Decker knows how important it is and how difficult it is to beat a team three times, but he's got a squad that can do that. What do you think is the key for Sheboygan Christian to hang in there? I think one thing I saw last week when Lutheran played Oostburg is Oostburg committed a lot of turnovers. So if I was Sheboygan Christian, I would do something that Coach Lipsy does very well is play defense. I'd really pressure those guards up the floor, maybe even make Sam take the ball up to court to maybe tire him out a little bit, to try to cause turnovers, and off those turnovers, get some easy baskets. Now I know you missed the uh, second Lutheran Christian game and uh, Brett, uh, Brett Flipsy's son Zach had a really a good game and, and, and basically held him in there by himself. Yeah, he's having a real nice senior season this year and you know, he's one of those guys that's gonna have to have a big night again today. I mean, that senior leadership been there on those successful teams there before. You can tell some of the younger kids just what it's like here. You know, for him, he's gonna lay it on the line because there's no tomorrow for whichever team loses. Now, if uh, Sam Decker goes off, they're going to be a hard team to uh, beat. But uh, one of the things I think personally, and I think you think the same way, one of the keys for Lutheran is they got to get contributions from other people. Yeah, and Coach Decker was talking to me before. He said, we've, we've made some changes this week. They didn't like everything that was taking place. And uh, so they, they got some new rules, he said, and, and we're going to try to change some things to, to prepare for the tournament. But you're right. I watched the second half the other last week here and it was all Sam Decker in the third quarter he got every basket and every point and in the fourth quarter five points from other members so they're, if they're gonna have a successful season and get all the way to Madison other people are gonna have to contribute and finish all right with that we're gonna step out and we come back we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's WIA tournament game my name is Amanda I'm 21 years old I have lots of friends that use tanning beds that lay out in the sun all the time, and I tell them about Jamie. Jamie was in her early 20s when she was diagnosed with melanoma, and she died right before she turned 30. People think tanning is safe. I don't think it's safe. You could die just like Jamie did. This message is brought to you by the American Academy of Dermatology. Falls on TV can be entertaining. Falling at home can be devastating. Each year, one in three Americans over 65 falls in their own home, breaking bones and shattering lives. For older people, any broken bone can be serious. A broken hip, potentially lethal. To make your home as fall safe and bone friendly as it can be, visit orthoinfo.org slash falls. A public service message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, where staying on your feet is doctor's orders. It has been on the run for 90 minutes. Average foot speed over uneven terrain, barring any injuries, is four miles per hour. What I need from each and every one of you is a full target search of every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, and dog house in that area. Your fugitive has just cashed in his 401k plan. And all he had to do was roll it over. Learn about rollovers and protecting your financial future and choose to save. You can't mess with a big dog. Uh, back at Lutheran High School where tonight the uh, starting Back at Lutheran High School where tonight uh, Brett Flipsy offering us some, <laughs> some water. Anyway, starting lineups for the Christian Eagles. Number 10, Kyle Calvert, a 6'6 junior. Number 11, Alex Tislow, a 5'10 senior. Number 22, Zach Flipsy, a 5'10 senior. Brandon Wissey, number 23, is a 6'1 senior. 
And rounding out the starting five is number 33, Dustin Brower, a 6'8 senior. For the uh, Lutheran Crusaders, Six three senior number twenty four of Tyler Hosenstein. Number twenty one, a six one senior, is Jacob Wheeler. Also a senior and going six two is number five, Dane Poth. Five eleven senior, number three, Zach Nicholson. And rounding out the starting five, the only junior in the starting lineup, number one, six seven junior, Sam Decker. Lutheran comes in with a uh, 16 and six record overall. Christian is nine and 14, and they reach this level of the tournament with a uh, win on Tuesday over Oakfield, 54 to 51. I believe that game went into overtime, Chris. Uh, Lutheran played quite well. And there you see on the bottom of your screen, uh, Brett Flipsy and Todd Decker shaking hands. Uh, good friends. Our officials tonight are Jim Van Ruden and Dennis Justice. Those gentlemen are from Milwaukee. Justice will, uh, pardon me, Van Ruden will be uh, tossing the ball. A lot of hands on the ball. They're gonna give it to uh, Luther. Well, we'll see how nerves are here, Marty. Tournament action. Christian, a little experience they played the other day. Well, Decker uh, tried to hit his teammate, but he should have kept it and just shot it. He was that close. Tried to get it over to Dane Poth. Decker guarding uh, Flipsy, that'll be an interesting matchup. Wow. That's something uh, I don't remember seeing before. Well, when we uh, covered Oosberg at uh, Christian, they put one of the Keller boys on uh, Flipsy, and uh, that hindered his ability to uh, get shots off. The much taller player on him. Good help defense there preventing the drive to the basket. Tislaw brings it back out on top. You know, that's a good move to put it, your Sam on there, but what you... And over and back called. Decker tipped the ball, and Flipsy bounced it on the, uh, in the front court, and then took it back to the back court, and that's what uh, the turnover was all about, right there. And there you could see it on the bottom of your screen. Well, I was just going to say, sometimes when you, if you want to put Sam on your best player, you just hope that he doesn't know make fouls and things and get himself into foul trouble I know it's here they're putting Sam in the block this is twice in a row down in the block normally you see him out on the perimeter good little pass to the corner his teammate couldn't get it but the rebound was gathered in by uh, Hosenstein nice bounce pass both over to Hosenstein On the line was Calvert. Turnover. Not their house. Gonna be a little more difficult for them. Nicholson has it on top. And Decker out on the perimeter now. Being guarded by Wissy. Both teams in a man to man. Shot from the corner is no good. Tipped away. And Lutheran comes away with it. Both cross court pass. Shot is off. Nicholson on the attempt. And Chris, I wasn't sure. Did you think you think Christian was in a zone that time? No. I think they're playing man up. Just good man too. Collapsing a little bit. Like I said, I think Coach Decker's gonna want to get Sam in the block a little bit more. Decker, good defense there, had good help on the screen. Then the ball is knocked away. A lot of fumbling around. Good job by Wissy to save it. Tislow over to Calvert. 
His shot is in and out. Lutheran will get it. Christian Steph. does have good size, uh, Marty. They do. You know, they do go Brower at 6'8". And... Zach Jensema in the ball game. Calvert about 6'6". Six, six. Jacob Wheeler had it on top, inside feed. And good cover up defense that time by Brower. Decker shot is no good. Jensma with the rebound. Wheeler, no good. And off of Sam Decker. Christian will have it. Only two points. We've played just over three minutes. The winner of this game will go on to play on Saturday night tomorrow against the winner of Living Word Lutheran and Elkhart Lake. Elkhart Lake dumped off the number two seed, Husesford, uh, by almost 20. Well, Wheeler that time had uh, Flipsy, and Flipsy got a shot off, but it was woefully short. You could see sense that right away, too, the shorter defender on him, and uh, wanted to get a shot off. Decker came out of the game. Well, Coach Decker's not happy with his son and his effort, so. A uh, steal by Tislow. We're all tied up at two. Well, that's what we talked about, a, a turnover and a conversion on the other end, and that's what Christian got there. Oh, wow, a lot of contact there. Wheeler trying to get the, Calvert got hit in the head. He's slow coming down. Flipsy up and in. Four quick points by Christian, and they have the lead four to two. Calvert still in the middle of the lane. His face is all red. Both kick out pass. Nicholson shot is in. Three pointer. You know, you watch Nicholson play, and basically all he does is line up in either corner. He should be able to take that shot away because that's basically his only shot is in either corner. Rolling down to three and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter here at Lutheran High School. Christian comes in with a uh, 9 and 14 record overall. Hasenstein guarding Calvert. It went off of his foot out of bounds. Decker back in. And also checking in is Carl Nimmer. Coach Decker getting a lot of people in. Trying to keep a little fresh. I'll tell you what, last week, Lutheran was really worn down by that Oostburg pressure and uh, defense. But by the way, you didn't, game. you didn't sound tired at the end of that game. I was watching. <laughs> And by the way, another three-pointer, that one by Poth. Eight to four. By the way, my lawyers will be uh, getting in contact with you. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing copyrights to my down the road. <laughs> I thought Wissy Dub taking it to the corner. Zach Jensima with the block. Decker trying to get it down Main Street, lost it. Flipsy has the control and takes it right to the hoop, dishes it off. Brower with an easy two. Nice pass by Flipsy. Eight to six, Lutheran. Nice inside feed, but better defense that time by Wissy. And they're saying the ball went off of Sam Decker. Oh, I didn't see that, Chris. Uh, I did not either. Well, better to happen in the first quarter than uh, the game on the line. Tislow beating Nicholson down the floor. Eight to six, Lutheran on top. Well, we see that time, I was impressed, Chris, because he got the ball on the wing and didn't dribble once and pick it up. He did that a lot in that uh, second Lutheran Christian game we watched. Inside to Brower, Poth way over the back, no call. Jeez. He has got to play better defense. That's just not good defense. He got, probably got three fouls, but he only gets credited for one. Well, and the, the, the key there is to play defense before the ball comes in. 
you know, not over get on. his back and then bump him twice. <laughs> <laughs> They're lucky he didn't get called for a fall on the shot. Hunick in the game, he snuck in when we weren't looking. Actually, we might have been looking and just missed it. Uh, kick that time by Nicholson. Reach at the 24 second clock. How about the 147 left in the quarter clock? <laughs> Wheeler back in the ball game for the Crusaders. Not a lot of scoring. Brower has it out on top, being guarded by Jensema. Flipsy left open, can't get his shot to go, and Decker gets the rebound, but he's fouled by Brandon Wissey. I think Flipsy kind of forced one there. Zach Kevin nice year, averaging 12.9 a game. I think you mentioned that Christian was 9 and 14, 6 and 11 in league play, which put him in seventh. One again by Oostberg. Both has it on the wing. Nicholson on top. Luther having a hard time solving this uh, man to man defense by uh, Christian. <coughs> Brower, it hit off of his leg, not a kick. And then he almost loses it. Pulls a little uh, metal arc lemon. Keep the ball alive. <laughs> that could have been an easy basket and they didn't get anything. Yeah, really, exactly. Decker on a feed inside. I'll tell you, not good ball handling. And I think they're going to get Flipsy on the uh, foul. Let's see what he calls. There were two players there. Yep. Zach Flipsy picking up his first foul. There you're going to see it. Watch a slap down right there. It's second slap at the ball. Just three fouls. I tell you, they're letting them play, Marty. Yeah, they definitely are doing that. It's tournament time. Well, we mentioned that, I think, when we did the second North-South girls game, that, uh, you know, letting them play a little bit was a little better. Inside feed, no basket. Travel by Jensema. A good caller by the official. Nice pass by Sam Decker. Well, last week, uh, Jensema had a shot of a basket down there in fourth quarter. He missed it, and that kind of well, started the... Uh, watch the pass here. You'll see the shuffle of the feet. Well, I guess you won't, but believe me, he did it. <laughs> Good substitution there, Chris, getting uh, Decker off the floor for the last 29 seconds. And Flipsy, mind you. And Flipsy, yeah. Giving the big boys a rest. Well, regardless, one team has to play tomorrow. You know, you want to leave it all there, but got to have some something left in the tank. Yeah, the trouble is you got to get past tonight first. Yep. It's just well, a bad pass. Yeah, see what they do here. A lot of time. Nicholson pushing it up the floor. Five seconds. Good play by Cole. The shot is off. No good. And... Hosenstein going hard to the floor. No call, we're at the end of one quarter of play. Lutheran on top, eight to six. of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help why when there's so much they could be achieving kids with learning disabilities are smart they just learn differently call or visit us on the web now Excuse me, Mr. Executive who studied trigonometry back in school and now sits in a huge office and drives a finely tuned luxury car. Yes, Mr. Only learned basic math, so still have an entry level job and have to live with your mother. Uh, if you need me this weekend, I'll be here filling out your expense reports and timesheets because that's really the only kind of math I can handle. Great. Simple addition and subtraction sound right up your alley. Have a great weekend in the country, sir. Just 
starting second quarter action. Interesting first quarter, Chris, in that three different players scored for each team, and one of them was not Sam Decker or Zach Flipsy, the two high scorers for both clubs. Oh, pardon me, Flipsy did have a hoop. And good hustle there by Wissy to knock the ball away from uh, Dane Poth. A little more balance on the uh, Christian side, Chris. Uh, Flipsy averaging about 13 a game, and Dustin Brower nine and a half, and uh, I got Calvert at about 8.8. .8. Where uh, Lutheran, it's uh, Decker at 29, almost 30 points a game, and then the next high scorer is Wheeler and uh, Jensima, each at right around eight only. Yeah, Decker second in the state in scoring. Leading all area scorers, Pressland. It's so been a great season for him. Again, Sam inside, got it to uh, Jensima, and finally they were able to convert an assist from Sam Decker. Decker showing his versatility going down underneath and playing the post. Well, I'll tell you, Brower wants the ball. I would give it to him. Well, Poth playing now, trying to fight inside. Three seconds by Brower in the lane. I'll tell you, he was in there a heck of a lot longer than three seconds. Sixth turnover on Christian. They are three of seven shooting while uh, Lutheran is four of ten. Wissy really making it hard for uh, Sam Decker to uh, get through. I'm gonna call an offensive foul, a blocking foul on Dane Poth. That's his second, Chris. A little too aggressive on the second part of the screen. First part was okay. You mean you can't chuck in basketball? <laughs> Hasenstein trapped behind Brower, and then a, not a very good feed inside, but Brower gathers it in and puts it up and in. I'd show him the money. Decker, lean in is no good. Flipsy comes away with it. Well, Decker goes down hard, he's hurt. And Jensma with the rebound. Good ball Nicholson. movement. Can't get it to go, Jensma couldn't get it. Calvert with the rebound. 55 is the call by uh, Brett Flipsy. He wants him to run some offensive pattern. Just under five minutes left in the half. It's only 10 to eight, Lutheran on top. Inside to Brower. Oh, he oh. had a player open underneath and didn't see him. Wissy was there. Wissy on a fadeaway, not even close. Side feed, Decker kicks it back out. Nicholson again, this time he nails it. His second three of the night. Yeah, he's 204 from up out there, and that one was from the top. Not typically where he shoots them, but that one went through for him. 13 to eight. You can see what uh, Christian is trying to do is get it inside to the smaller defender. Well, that time Brower got the ball, but he's so far away from the basket. When you're that tall, you got to be around that yellow box thing, not way out here in the perimeter out here. Oh, good block that time by Hasenstein. And then Nicholson saves it, but hits it right off of Brower, and it's going to be Lutheran's ball. I think this is a key part in the first half right here, Chris. Lutheran came down and nailed a three to bump it up to five. Could get it up to seven or eight. Lutheran has to play tough D. Christian, pardon me. Good inside feed. Jensma, fake, put it up and in. The X, he's the X factor in the tournament. He's going to have to have a big, big tournament run. Second assist by uh, Decker. 
Almost a travel by uh, Zach Jensema. Calvert forcing a shot under pressure. And not a good pass there. Flipsy was right on him. Nine turnovers on Lutheran, Marty. Yeah, it's a lot, holy cow. Decker uh, is really tired already, Chris. He may need another blow before halftime. Brower, good inside feed. Basket is up and good by Josh Decker. Thirteen to fifteen to ten. Nicholson shot is no good. Decker's putback is no good. And Brower gets fouled by Hasenstein. Boy, Nicholson's shot looked right on, but it was just not to be. Only the third team foul on Lutheran. Christian has two team fouls. You're right, they're letting them play tonight. Tislow has it on top. Flipsy almost looked like he shuffled the feet before he got the ball down, no call. Good hands up by Decker. I'm telling you, Brower's too high, he's gotta get lower. There she's so high away from the basket. Nice pass though. Inside feed, basket is good by Stecker and he's fouled. Hosen sign again, I think they're gonna get Marty. It's on Hosenstein, it's his second. It is. Two fouls on Pulse and two on Hosenstein? Yep. Carl Nimmer comes in for uh, Hosenstein. And nice soft touch shown there by Jensema. Oh, pardon me. Not Jensema by Stecker. I think Christian's going to have to do well is shoot free throws. They're just going to have to play very well tonight. And so far, they are. Well, over the back, I think that was Calvert. That's just bad fouls, Marty, especially at this time of the year. Yeah, you'd think they'd have a ID. I mean, if you can't get in front of him and he gets the ball, what are you going to do? By reaching over the back like that, it's just... <laughs> Wissy coming in and uh, Brower taking a seat. Good swing of the ball. Two forty-five remaining until halftime. Lutheran on top, fifteen to thirteen. Decker, lean in, got it. His first basket of the night. Yeah, he's one of four, Marty. Not forcing things. No. Just letting the game come to him. Stecker, couldn't get it. Wissy with the rebound, trying to clear space and does, but he's gonna get called for a travel instead of a foul. Referee had his choice on there, on that call. Two fifteen remaining until halftime. Sam Decker gasping out there at half court. He's really beat. Outside shot is no good. Jensma trying to get it, but uh, couldn't control it. Nimmer on that shot from the corner. Seventeen to thirteen. There you see it. Lutheran on top. Nimmer's only attempted 12 threes before that one all season. That one looked way off. Stecker throws it out of bounds. <laughs> Once he started doing the stutter dribble, you knew he was in trouble. Christian continuing in the man-to-man -man defense. And a blocking yeah. fall on Wissy. Didn't move his feet there, that was nope. not good defense. Nope. 
and then you fall down, it's not gonna happen. Oh, it's second personal for him. They need him on the floor. Coach Slipsy gonna keep him in there with a buck 28 left in the half. Nicholson, can't get it. Jensema, up and in. Jensema looking good tonight. <clears throat> 19 to 13. This is fourth rebound well, already too. Christian trying to push it and threw it out of bounds. Brower coming back in. Wissy's gonna check out. Coach Decker there. Yeah. You know, one of the things that uh, we've seen over the last couple times that we've covered these uh, teams is they're not good, really good ball handers. They're not the kind of teams you want to have pushing the ball up and down the floor, at least not on a regular basis. Inside feed to Jensema. Another easy two. Again, an assist from Sam Decker. I've got him for three assists, Chris. I don't know if you're keeping track of that. No, but I got uh, Jensema four for four from the floor. Tislow. Big basket needed there by the Eagles. 38 seconds. Feeling Decker, it. fade away, three. <laughs> 20 seconds remaining until halftime. It's 24 to 15, Lutheran on top. Calvert from outside the line, no good. And uh, they're saying it hit something on the backboard. Lutheran will get it with 13.5. And this, uh, they got it in the right person's hands, that's for sure. Nicholson, bangle at the buzzer. Zach Flipsy chasing down the official. He wants to know why not a call on the push off. But uh, good team play at halftime. Lutheran on top, 27 to 15. Number and John's cell phone number. Hey, pretty. And um, number the restaurant where we're going to be. And oh, I've um, left you my pager number too, just in case, because you never know. Um, John, you have the gift? The odds of a babysitter calling 911? One in 1,400. So should happen, please don't hesitate. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 150. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to autismspeaks.org. Okay, this time, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to actually go to school. Tell me about some of the stuff you've had to deal with. I just dropped out completely. I just got caught up in it, the whole scene with the alcohol and the drugs. I was arrested. A lot of my friends, they were really concerned, especially my friend Aaron. You just have to find someone. They don't have to tell you advice. They don't have to do that. They just listen. Give Frankie and our class of 08 the boost they need to graduate. Join us at boostup.org. Get up, be get, get up, be get groovy. Kid, what's up with you? Let's get up and play. Do something. Stop slumping like a lump all day. Get on up, come on. Get out the door. Let's shake that booty like never before. Let's run, have fun. Let's jump and groove. Get up and get that body up. Make it move. Get up, get up, get up, and be a player. Get up, get up, get up. Let's run, have fun. Get up and be a player. Get up and play an hour a day. Ouch! Sorry. For cool playtime ideas, go online. Just don't stay long. Back at Lutheran High School where we're getting ready to wrap up uh, halftime. Some halftime scores, Sam, scoring Sam Decker at five. Zach Nicholson had nine on three three-point baskets. Dane Poth had a three-pointer for three. Zach Jensema off the bench, eight points, and uh, he was one of the key factors Chris had mentioned. And then rounding out the scoring for uh, Lutheran was Tyler Hosenstein with a bucket. Alex Tislow, four, Zach Flipsy, two. Dustin Brower four and Josh Stecker coming off the bench at five points for uh, the Eagles. 
key point in the game was in the second quarter when the score was 15 to 13 Lutheran. And from that point on, Lutheran went on a 12-2 run. Tislaw's basket in the lane was the only thing that broke it up. And uh, Chris, uh, your impressions? Well, wow, those two three-pointers there were just huge. So Decker won, and then there's Coach Decker dressing the troops. Uh, and then, of course, at the buzzer there, uh, Nicholson with that three-pointer. He was three of seven from out there, three of eight in the game. Uh, Lutheran shot 11 of 23, five of 13 from three-point, seven of 18 for Christian. But a lot of late turnovers by Christian there at the end of the second quarter that added to that you know, possible 12-2 run. Uh, by Lutheran. I had Sam Decker for four assists all coming in the second quarter and uh, Lutheran scored 19 in the second quarter to break this uh, game open a bit. Yeah, Christian's really going to have to make a haul to get back in here. They played such a good first half and it just kind of fell apart like you said the last three minutes or so. Both from outside the line. Had a good look, but couldn't get it to go. And Brandon Wissy with the rebound. Wissy has his old number back, 23. Had a change to a 31 the last time we covered these teams. Both gonna pick up his third. And uh, that's exactly what Chris was talking about in the first half. Not playing good post defense. <laughs> Chris, is, Chris is shaking his head. Well, he fouled out of the game last week with like five minutes left. You got to be on the floor, son. A good pressure that time by uh, Zach Jensema. Good ball movement by the Crusaders, but uh, also good defense by Christian. Shot no good by Decker. Yeah, he's just two of six tonight. Oh, there's a walk. That was an easy call. Not even close. Nope. <laughs> when he watches tomorrow morning, you'll see what we're talking about. <laughs> That's 10th turnover there for Lutheran. Has nine. Good inside feed by Poth. Nicholson, number three, he's the one that's had the nice first half. A good feed inside. Uh, that time I thought Jensema got away with the walk. Yes, sir. <clears throat> first miss of the night, he's four of five. Pullum can't shoot. Brower spins into the lane and knocks her down. Every time, Marty, I'd go there. He's just two for three from the floor. Every time I'd give him the ball in there. If nothing else, it might help to get uh, Sam Decker off of uh, Flipsy. Going the other way. Charging foul on uh, Sam Decker. That'll be only his first. Both remains in the game, Chris, with his three fouls. Interesting. 27 to 17. There you saw it. Replay. Good, uh, good replay, Scott. For those of you who watch this game tomorrow morning, come out to North tomorrow night. We're out. Uh, we live. And watch it on 990-95 at 7 o'clock, 10 to 7. We'll probably be on the air. Oh, Brower on a nice move into the lane again. Every time. Puth charging. Another turnover, and that's his fourth. I wonder if he wants to be out there, Marty. Well, he's not playing smart basketball, that's for sure. Carl Nimmer comes in for uh, Dane Poth. 4 nothing run to start the second half by Christian, just what they needed. Unfortunately, when you look at the scoreboard, they're still down by eight. That's the sad part. Because you're right, they're playing very well uh, here. Look start. at the defense inside. Decker now playing on Brower. <laughs> Wheeler. Tislow committing to foul. Jacob Wheeler will be at the line and uh, 
According to my book, Chris, this are the first free throws by a Lutheran tonight. I'll tell you, you these tournament games go so fast. You know, we're 40 minutes in, and man, like within an hour, 20 minutes of your game, and your, your career might be over. Yeah, exactly. I always think about that, especially when you have those afternoon games. You know, it starts at like 1.30 or 2 o'clock, and by 3.15, 3.30, that's it. Brower now on the outside taking Decker out there. Too far from the basket. Wissy, good cover up defense that time by Nimmer and Flipsy, good hustle, but tips it, tips it out of bounds, but it went off a Lutheran player. 32nd time out by uh, the Crusaders of Lutheran High School. The winner of this game will uh, play on Saturday night at seven o'clock out at uh, Cedar Grove, Belgium. And they will be playing the winner of the Living Word Lutheran Elkhart Lake Glen Beulah game. That play game being played at Living Word Lutheran. And uh, I'm not sure where that's located, Chris. Now I know that earlier in the season, Living Word beat Elkhart Lake by 22, but Living Word also lost to Lutheran by 16, 71-55, so they, Familiar opponents for uh, Christian and Lutheran. We mentioned this earlier, but we'll mention it again. Uh, Christian is here based on their victory over uh, Oakfield on Tuesday night, 54 to 51. A good tip of the hands by uh, Nimmer. Christian will keep it. 4.42 remaining in the third quarter. Lutheran up by 10, 29 to 19. Flipsy being guarded by Nicholson. A good help defense by Nimmer. Awesome defense by Lutheran here. And everybody fighting on the floor. They're gonna get uh, Nicholson, or pardon me, Nimmer on the line as he touched the ball. So uh, Christian will keep it. Very long possession this game. Yeah, down. just good defense by Lutheran giving no opportunities for Christian, and uh, Flipson's, Christian just gotta be a little more patient. Things will come, there it is. Brower's shot is blocked. You think so? Flipsy looking, good cover up defense, inside feed to Brower, his shot rolls off, Decker with the rebound. Third rebound for Decker. Give Brower credit, just keep going to the rack there, even though your first one was blocked. Well, Sam Decker originally was gonna take it to the basket, and then he jumped in the air and looked to feed off, and uh, no one was open, and he kinda got caught. Are you gonna watch him, look it, looking, then he tries to dish it, and at that point, uh, the foul occurred. Dustin Brower committed the foul, his first. Decker's feet is over the head of Zach Jensema out of bounds. Wow, I thought Brower got a hand on that. Must have tipped off Jensema then, huh? That's what the official said. You're always right. Especially the umpires. <laughs> we see trying to shake loose from uh, Nimmer. And uh, had a little trouble handling the ball on the drive to the hoop. Good cover up defense by Nicholson on Jensema, or pardon me, on Zach Flipsy. A lot of defense being played by these boys. And a jump ball situation, pardon me, held ball situation. Yeah, it's very difficult. Another long possession down here. Yeah, and as the time keeps ticking away, <laughs> they're not scoring. No, Christian's not getting any closer. Calvert uh, on the tip play, not tip play, on the lob play, but he got the ball back and put it in his first points of the night. Yeah, he had missed his first four. Decker open from outside the line. His shot rolls down. The second three. Lutheran up 11. Yeah, 
Basket is good. Is that Wissy? Thirty-two twenty-four. Two thirty left in the third quarter, and again, not good passing by the Crusaders. That time Wheeler trying to force it inside to uh, Jensema. You know, and even if he makes the catch, what's he going to do? It stand underneath the basket. Not, not in position again. Got to be outside that block. The scoring position. 32-23. Lutheran. Tislow. Jump shot is no good. Ball tips off of uh, Eagle from Sheboygan Christian. Josh Wheeler coming in. Timeout. Full timeout, Scott. So with 208 remaining in the third, Lutheran on top, 32-23. Personal foul, inactive activities on a glorious day. Huh? Let's get out there and play! Sweet. Ooh, free! When do I get to be in? Uh-oh. Hey, Reggie. Frozen people can't talk. P-L-A-Y! An hour a day. I'm it. There are lots of great play ideas online, but don't stay too long. Be a player. Back at uh, Lutheran High School, uh, Zach Flipsy talking to, uh, pardon me, Brett Flipsy talking to the troops. And there you see some of the uh, Sheboygan Lutheran fans. They're enjoying their so themselves tonight. Al Holzheimer down there. Hurting those kids. <laughs> Well, just four shot attempts in the whole uh, quarter for Lutheran and uh, eight for Christian. Only one basket, too. Yeah, and we're uh, six <clears throat> minutes in here. Good defense by Lutheran. They've really stepped it up. Uh, you know, every even when the Christian kids catch the ball, it's always like bounced or dribbled. Or I mean, nothing's clean for them. So the pressure of Lutheran's getting to them a little bit. And Christian's playing them even, but, you know, they... They can't trade baskets. They got to go, you know, two for one, and it's just not a lot of attempts. Decker this time in the low post, being guarded by Wissy, and a good move that time by Sam Decker to draw the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Why well, this think that's a good place for him? Get him drawing fouls. He's a good free throw shooter, shooting 79 percent from there. He'll have to pick it up a notch if he wants to play for the Badgers. <laughs> Their big guys are all in the 80s. Well, they're going to possibly set an NCAA record if... Uh, Keep it up. Yeah, this weekend at Ohio State. Well, that free throw bumps the lead back up to 10 points. Lutheran went into halftime with a 12-point lead. Christian was able to knock into it, but uh, they've pretty much been stalemated for a good part of this third quarter. Yeah, those last three minutes of the first half really was the difference in the game because it's been pretty even besides that. Yeah, that 12-2 run, you're right. And the two threes to end the quarter. Yeah. Flipsy. Nice one-on-one -on -one move on uh, Nicholson. There wasn't much he could do. Zach Nicholson commits his first. Brett Flipsy will, or Zach Flipsy will be at the line shooting a pair. Get my Flipsy's mixed up and uh, Jensima plays for Christian but he really plays for Lutheran. But I know Chris Wright is sitting next to me. <laughs> and you're and we in got Sheboygan. Steve Reiner up on top doing the top camera and Richard Bartson on the floor camera and Scott Mailoff in the truck. Splitties behind us, we know that. Yeah, we're, we're set. We got our backs covered anyway. Oh, Zach Flipsy misses a pair and Brett Flipsy can't believe it. Nimmer on a nice pass, couldn't get it in. 
Oh, trying to kick it up the floor to uh, Stecker, and he was open, but uh, the pass was behind him. And a turnover by Sam Decker again, trying to rush it. Tislow off the glass, oh. no good. And they're going to get an over the back foul. I believe it's going to go on Calvert. Well, oh, it's going to go on Alex Tislow. Two opportunities, Marty. He had a breakaway, threw it away, came down here. Didn't come away with any baskets on another one for two. That would have made it a six point game. Instead, you still trail by 10. And the team in green has the ball. A good idea. Nimmer got the inside feed. I think it was actually intended for Jensima, but got tipped. And Nimmer picked it up, and then he got fall on the shot attempt. Nimmer, another 77% shooter. Overall, uh, Lutheran shooting 71%. That's pretty good shooting that for is. a high school team. They've hit four out of five so far. Some teams in the Big East like to shoot that good. And we're not talking the Big East High School Conference either. <laughs> no, I think it's Georgetown struggles with their free throw shooting. One of a few that Pitt too. Pitt also. One rolls off. 34-23, under a minute left in the third quarter. That was Calvert's fifth rebound. And oh, that one almost went to you, Marty. I was ready. Hardly touched the ball this afternoon. And they're going to get Brower on the foul. Trying to pull a stop. Let's see if we can get a replay of that one, Scott. Now a little bit late, but you get the idea. There it is. Right there, he's pushing him away with his off arm and undercutting him. Clock running, 20 seconds left in the quarter. Lutheran trying to run it down. Uh, Todd Decker saying slow it down a little bit. The idea is get it to the man. Decker on him. Brower comes out, three seconds. Two, Decker looks spot on, but a little bit long, and we're at the end of three quarters of play. Lutheran up 11, 34, 23. Introducing the all new Enclave. It's a minivan to the max with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. Explore her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. Quiet quarter that uh, quarter for Zach Jensema who had eight first half points and Nicholson also didn't score. Uh, Decker did have four points, got his uh, point total up to nine now. But uh, not much scoring by either team. No, and uh, Lutheran was one of six shooting in the quarter, and they still lead by 11. Yeah. Four Seven point quarter for uh, Lutheran, an eight point quarter for Christian. Sam Decker, a little scoop shot, no good. Brower with the rebound. Flipsy, spin move, got it in. That was sweet. His first basket of the second, basket of the game, first of the half. He has four points. Shot was blocked by Calvert, but Wheeler comes away with it, and fights and puts it up and in. Good effort. Once again, an opportunity for Christian there. Kind of a wild shot, they can't get the rebound. 
Effort by Wheeler. Puts him back up by 11. Good inside defense by uh, Sam Decker on Brower. They weren't able to get the feet in there. There you see Flipsy and the ball almost went out of bounds. Calvert gathered it back and took the shot. No good. Stecker put it up and in. And a timeout, a 30-second timeout by Christian. With 6.43 remaining, it's 36 to 27, a nine-point lead for Lutheran. You know, it's kind of a little early to start calling timeouts. 6.43 left, you got three left, but... Uh, Gonna have to do it on the defensive end. As we said, it's been back and forth pretty much even except for those three minutes. Chris is talking about the uh, three minutes in the uh, second quarter when uh, Lutheran went on a 12-2 run to finish the half. And uh, that expanded a two-point lead up to 12. Good defense by Lutheran in the second half. Well, Brower playing way off of Jensema, trying to double team on Decker on the post up. Little uh, matchup makes it zone real hard. Here. And then Calvert slides over too, so it's almost a triple team. I don't think Lutheran minds this. Taking a little time off the clock. I got a nine point uh, lead. Wheeler throws it out of bounds on the uh, attempted post pass. 15th turnover. Trying to keep, yeah, they're trying to keep the ball away from Zach Flipsy. They had him double teamed on the inbounds. And Nicholson's all over him there. And a tough night for Zach. Decker's been on him. Now you put Nicholson, the quick little guy. Flipsy looking for an opening, but the good defense by uh, the Crusaders. Wheeler almost with the interception. Calvert, high arching shot is no good. Stecker's shot is blocked. Stecker's shot is up and in and he's fouled. And they're gonna get it on Nimmer. Well, Calvert shot that three. That's only their third three, third, the, the, the. Third three-point attempt of the game. And uh, again, short. They haven't hit one all night. And they keep missing free throws. It's three misses in a row. They've only made one out of four in the game. Decker from outside the line rolls off. Calvert with the rebound. There's where that height paid off for the Eagles. Rolling under the uh, five... 20 mark of the fourth quarter. Seven point lead by uh, the Crusaders. Flipsy from outside the line, couldn't get it, and Decker goes high for the one-handed rebound. His sixth. And Wissy trying to block his path. There's a good post feed. Kick out, Wheeler, can't get it in. I'll tell you that Christian is getting plenty of opportunities. Nice feed inside to Calvert for an easy two. Zach Flipsy, and all of a sudden it's a five point lead. Christian making their run. Timeout Lutheran. We got ourselves a ball game here. Well, Christian's had so many chances, Marty. Missing free throws and different things, but I'll tell you, they uh, hanging in there. They definitely them. are doing that. I think you make a really good point about the free throw shooting because uh, right now, they, uh, they being Christian has 16 fouls, Lutheran has five. You got to imagine that with 445 remaining, both those teams will be in the bonus and uh, free throws will be a key part. Into the house come Jake Stengel and Shaq Francis and Reed Conter. Fashionable be lit. Well, you know, it's like the NBA, just watch the last two minutes. <laughs> there you go. That's what my wife does. 
Sheboygan Lutheran, Marty, two of 11 in the second half. Yeah, they had one basket in the entire third quarter. That was a three-pointer by Decker, and so far, Wheeler has a basket for their only uh, points in the fourth quarter. While the uh, Christian fans believe it's an 8 2 run here in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to get a stop after stop, though. Back cut by Nicholson, and he's fouled. Good backdoor cut. Wissy, I think. You're right on. Spot on, man. His third. Seventh team fall. Nicholson will be at the line shooting a pair. As I said, he's their third best free throw shooter. Hit five out of seven free throws in the game. Make it five out of eight. Ball is knocked out of bounds. They're lucky because they could have got both with number five. Yeah, both back in the game, how about that? Flipsy getting out of the double team and then goes right around Decker. Brower trying to go inside, but good defense. One time. Flipsy for three. Wow, oh, that was that. huge. Wow, that was huge. Inside feed to Decker, trying to get it up, but he's fouled. I'm gonna call it on the floor, Marty. But that is the ninth team foul on Christian, which puts Sam Decker at the line, shooting one plus one. Yeah, one plus one. It's 37-34. Christian making a huge run. That free throw by Nicholson broke a eight, broke an eight six point run by the Eagles. Good substitution here. Wissy coming in for Calvert. One of five from three point range for Christian. They're gonna have to get some guys to make some. Decker puts them both down, it's 39-34. Five point lead again, we're under four minutes left in the ball game. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you the game tonight, WIAA tournament action. Inside feed to Brower. Show me the money. Jenzema has to back off. Now Lutheran doesn't have to panic here. They do have a three point lead. Oh, he traveled. Inside the Jensema and he missed the bunny. And they're all over these guys. And Wheeler's gonna get called for the foul on Tislaw. That'll only be the sixth foul on Lutheran. Jensema had it all going in the first half, four for four. But that's his second miss here in the half. Sam Decker guarding uh, Flipsy on the uh, inbounds pass. Good catch by Wissy right at half court, being guarded by Poth. Good idea to put Decker back on Flipsy since he's starting to feel it. Going right into a double team though. Good strong move, Wissy get in there. Couldn't get it, but he's fouled. Wow, good effort, good effort. Christian is really exposing the defensive limitations of uh, Lutheran because they uh, out height them and when they put Decker on the outside then they look to go inside. When they uh, put him on an inside player then Flipsy goes off. Well I like the fact he went hard to the basket with authority. But again another missed free throw. You want to look back at it boys. Got to make them. Two out of six they've made. 39-37, rolling down to the three minute mark left in the ball game. Matthew, 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 
Becker with a stutter step. He gets fouled on the shot attempt. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Dustin Brower picks up his third. Sam Decker has made his last four free throws. It's four out of five on the night. Chance to go five out of six and does. He's been money so far here in the fourth quarter on his free throw shooting. Lutheran up by four. Stecker, he's been a good player off the bench, Chris. Brett flips, he wanted a foul on his son, and Sam gives a little smile. I don't know if it was because he got away with something or not. Oh, there's somebody. A lean in. Wow. Zach flips, with a great shot. Let the officials, good call there not to call anything, though. Decker from outside. Shot rims off. Brandon Wissy with the board. Big board. Rolling down to the two minute mark. Wissy shuffled his feet. Boy, oh boy. You know, you're 20, this is the 24th game of the season and you can't dribble the ball without traveling. Timeout by Christian with two, exactly two minutes left. If I was him, I would have shot it. If, what the heck? Put in that three. Checking to see if it's a 30 or if it's a full. It's a 30 second time. 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. We got ourselves a ball game here, Chris. Well, you just wonder if Christian can ever get over the hump. You know, they work so hard to, to get there, and then uh, they seem to always follow Lutzer, and then they keep making their free throws. Zach Flipsy now with nine points. Seems like he should have more. But uh, he only had two in the first half, none in the third quarter, and seven here in the fourth quarter so far. Yeah, he's four of seven shooting, Marty. The seven shot attempts. One of those being a three-pointer. Under two minutes, Lutheran on top by two. There you see it on the top of your screen. Decker gliding through the lane, down the baseline, I mean, for two. Clipsy should have stood up there and taken a charge. Yet you, you knew where he was going. First you let him go right, and you had a chance to step up early, and you didn't. Clipsy pulls up, bangle. Wanted a foul, no call. 43-41. Rolling down to 120. Well, you know who to follow if you're Christian. You gotta get closer. There's not gonna be a five second uh, call here. Too far away. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, I don't like this though. It's pretty hard for a high school team to just run down clock. We're at one minute mark. And then we got a foul on a trip. We got to get somebody to get from Christian to get double team. You're going to see it. So he doesn't get, Sam doesn't get the ball all the time. Let anybody well, else. He actually got fouled by uh, Brower first, and then Stecker was the one that got him down. Stecker's going to pick up the foul. That's his first. And oh, 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 nice roll. That's called the home rim roll. I don't know why they even let him get the ball. And that one, he couldn't get in. Three-point lead by the Crusaders. I'm going for two points here. 50 seconds left. Good hands by Sam Decker. Picking that pass away. Flipsy on a lean-in, short-armed it. Ball tipped around, Janzema! Giving it to Decker. Exclamation. 
Might be able to see that one on YouTube. Brett Flipsy talking to the official. Wanted a foul, didn't get it. Whoever got that rebound is gonna be huge. It was tipped around, tipped around. Luther there got it. See it. And here's the exclamation point. 29.8 seconds left. It's a full timeout, but we'll keep it here. That's gotta be pretty close to the last one for uh, Christian. Yeah, I told you, they took them way early. Now you need them, and you don't have them. Big, big rebound there, Marty. There's the flush. Yep. I tell you, there was a lot of contact down there, Marty. Yeah, I've got... Uh, Well, Sam Decker's come alive here in the second half, especially here in the fourth quarter with his free throw shooting and uh, that last dunk shot. And he also had a basket just prior to that. He's got the last five points. Make that nine points for uh, the Crusaders. 14 on the night so far. One timeout left for Christian. Pislow being hounded by uh, Nicholson. They got to hurry. You got to hurry. You got to hurry. You don't have time, boys. Decker is baskets. guarding uh, Flipsy again. Too much time. 16, 15, you two baskets. No shots. Blocked by Decker. And thrown away, Stecker. Timeout with six seconds left. Scott, any chance we can see though that last uh, few seconds of action? Brett Flipsy wanted a foul and uh, no call. Let's see what happens here. I don't think there's a foul. He had it blocked. And then it was thrown away right to Stecker and he put it up and in. Good replay, Scott. It's one of those hustle rebounds that you just tried to save the ball, but unfortunately it went right to the uh, Christian player. That'll be the last time out for uh, the Eagles. Lutheran still has a few left. Good move by uh, Todd Decker to uh, put uh, Sam on uh, Zach Flipsy that last position though. Yep. Yep. I think he wanted to follow, follow on the follow through, but I think it was just the momentum of the block. Yeah. It, it, I thought it was, the, the way, in the, in the context of the way the game has been called, you're not going to call that no, foul. No, no, And like you said earlier, and I think it was a really great statement, yeah, it's tournament basketball. Yeah, but you, if, if there's a foul, you foul. You usually get the more experienced a, officials, and you know, and they let them play a little more. Yeah, but I don't think there was enough to, to call anything there. Well, I put my best thrower. <laughs> Time out. Now Lutheran calls a timeout to set up on the inbounds play. Good, good maneuver there. You know, the way it looked, if uh, you could get a little bit of space from the guy guarding the inbounds, you could throw one deep. Because they're all up into the forecourt. I'd even do something like how they were set up. I'd come across at midcourt, set a screen, and maybe go to the opposite corner or something. You just want to make sure you catch it or it's in bounds. Yeah, don't <laughs> throw it out of bounds where they get it back underneath their basket. Right. Six seconds left, though. And one more time on the flush. No, this is not Sports Center highlights. This is WSCS TV highlights. Highlights. You know, what do you think of, uh, I think Carrie and Scott, maybe we should get a highlight show. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they're thinking about doing classics, classic <laughs> games. Steve Reiner running the top camera, Richard Bartson on the floor camera, Sam Scott Mailoff in the truck. Your color man is, uh, what's your name? Chris Wright, and I'm Mike Martin. And uh, it's been a great game. Not a lot of scoring, although I did go up into the second column of uh, my sheet, so I'm pretty happy about that. Just think that was Lucerne's third basket of the half. <laughs> oh, wow. A lot of free throw shooting. Oh yeah. 
Just get rid of it, son. It's five seconds. Wow. Wow, Lee. Throw it down the court. Really? Come on. You gotta have better judgment than that. Christian's out of timeouts. So you better draw some up in the sand. They don't have that much time. <laughs> and there's no sand on the court. Get on Calvert, he's a three-point shooter. Good idea. Wheeler commits the foul and they'll be shooting the one and one. Good idea. Well, he didn't do very good on the inbounds pass, but he made a smart play there. Calvert on the line, he hasn't shot a free throw tonight, Chris, and it's a one and one. Best he can do is get him to within one point. Oh, you gotta miss the second. Back Missed tip. the first, Genzema. Free throw shooting is gonna be the X factor. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, Decker's got to be the player of the game, but uh, Jensma is right behind him. He has had a very nice game tonight. and uh, Topping it off with that strong rebound on the missed free throw. If he can make a couple of free throws here, he would uh, solidify the game. Only needs to make one. And that's the ball game. 22% from the free throw line on the season. <laughs> hey. He's up to 30% on the season. And for the seniors for Christian, they played a heck of a game and it's gonna be tough tonight. You should be very proud of your efforts, boys. Oh, nothing but the bottom of the net for a 30% free throw shooter. Wissy, shot is off the glass. No good, and Christian drops their uh, second tournament game to Sheboygan Lutheran by a score of 48 to 43. In what was a very entertaining basketball game tonight. Chris Wright is uh, taken off to uh, see if he can get some interviews. Everyone has friends. There's online friends. Friends to go out with on a Saturday night. Friends to hang out with and do nothing. Friends who show up on moving day. And then there are the friends who'll be there if someone is dealing with a mental illness. Are you one of those friends? Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities by connecting the classroom with community service. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Get your school involved. Visit learnandserve.gov to find out how. Forget my dress for the fashion show. We went wild to look my best now. Jenny, Jenny, we started our book report. Here's the cover. Yeah, now all we need is a beginning, a middle, and an end. Jenny! Jenny, Jenny, Jenny! Jenny, 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 Jenny. Hi, honey. Are you feeling blue? What's wrong with being blue? Well, where should I start? <laughs> if you're a teen dealing with stress, there's help. Visit the Will Rogers Institute website for a free booklet about teen stress and how you can de-stress your life. Right. Okay.
Welcome back here, uh, Zach Tenzema. Great game for you. You got, I think you were like five of seven from the floor tonight, and then you got those big clutch free throws. Congratulations on the win tonight. How do you feel? Great. It was awesome. Well, you you make a lot of hay down there in the middle in the paint there. You get nice passes there for you, and you just got to put the mail in the bucket there. Yeah, they're all, passes are always great, so that's how I get my points because there's just great passes. 22% from the free throw line, and you got to make the two clutch free throws, and you bang them both home. It was exciting. <laughs> so, you know, I just, uh, God's given me a great opportunity to play, and he's kept our season going, so it's just great for being a senior playing here. It's just great, so. Got some rebounds and things tonight, too. A lot of big ones when you need it. You got it somewhat, you know, when they needed, you know, for you to get some rebounds when they were climbing back in there, you got there. Yeah, coach told us that we need to play with more heart out there than there. And, you know, I was just giving it all I got. So, and everyone was, you know, we just, we got to play as a team to keep moving on, so. Well, congratulations to you. You had a great, great, great game. You can stay here a little, a little closer than uh, maybe you thought, huh, Sam? Yeah, it was a lot closer. Um, Hey, but they play hard. They always have given us their A game this year, like every team, and um, got to give props to them for coming to play and battling back and um, kind of lucky to squeeze this one out. Uh, neither team played exceptional, but a w uh, wins a win, so. And let me say this, you guys, the offense wasn't going, but I'll tell you, that second half, that's some of the best defense I've seen you guys play all season. Yeah, we uh, had to focus on stopping Flipsy and Brower, mainly because those are two threats. Uh, Flipsy is... An outstanding uh, guy off the dribble, he can create shots, so uh, we just had to focus on locking down and um, not letting them outwork us, and I think we did that um, mainly through the whole game. So. I thought you did a nice job on Flipsy. You got him, and then, you know, bigger guy, and then you put Nicholson, he's quick, so I mean, <laughs> made it real tough for him. He got some tough baskets there at the end, but, you know, constantly put fresh guys on there, I think, helped. Yeah, uh, with, good, with good scores, you just got to throw different uh, angles at him, first half. Um, I thought I did pretty well on him, and uh, so then we put Nicholson on him to slow him down because I wanted to get on Brower, and then um, we switched right back up and kind of got him out of his rhythm a little bit there at the end. So, hey, man, you guys have had a great season, real special season, and with your team here this year. Yeah, we've had a good season. Um, past two years have been gone great. Uh, ho uh, hopefully, our season's not over tomorrow night as we hopefully get that regional final thing. Head on to sectionals and we're going to get a bunch more wins here down the road. Well, congratulations on your season. I would like to talk to the coach here a second. Coach, come on in. Uh, it's another game. It's another day. You get to play tomorrow. Well, it's tournament time. And I was telling our guys they were a little down in the locker room because we didn't think we had our uh, A game tonight. tonight. But, hey, like you said, it's tournament time. We're still on. We're still going. we got to practice tomorrow. And uh, we found a way. And that's what you got to do. You've had a lot of experience with that. And... Uh, it's a win, and now we go on and see what we can do in regionals. I talked to Sam. I said the defense tonight, in a sec especially in the second half, you guys, your boys really stepped up. Yeah, we did. I, I thought that the first half, too, we said six in the thir first quarter and then um, nine in the second, and, boy, that's 15 points. I said defense wins tournament games. They had a lot of junk defenses and threw different things at us, and uh, that's tough on these guys. And uh, with that pressure all the time, and then kept uh, doing some things offensively we're not used to, um, that hurts, but it, credit Christian, man, they gave it their all, and uh, those guys played tough also. Obviously, uh, Sam's going to get his points, and he really stepped up in the third quarter, but I thought overall you got a lot of contributions from a lot of your team tonight, especially in the first, second, and third quarter, and then the big rebounds later on too, but really a team effort tonight. Yes, and uh, uh, Zach Nicholson especially, uh, he blew out his ankle last night. No one knew that, and we taped it up. We didn't even know if he was going to play, and he had a great start for us. Uh, Gen Z uh, got us going, and those passes aren't as easy as the, they look from Sam sometimes, And uh, but he keeps plugging away. Uh, Dane Poth, too, playing against the 6'8 kid. He did well with that, and uh, he got a little bit of foul trouble, but, uh, hey, we're, we're still playing, and uh, we're happy about that. in uh, uh, Elkhart or Living Word and uh, hopefully uh, we can talk about some things with the coaches tonight and um, get after We're at Cedar Grove, well, that's, uh, we played there plenty of times and there's a lot of history in that gym, so we're looking forward to the challenge. Well, congratulations to all you gentlemen. Good luck in the tournament. Uh, with that, we'll send it back to Marty.
Some scoring from tonight's game. Kyle Calvert and Alex Tislow each had four points. Zach Flipsy had uh, 11 and uh, made some outstanding shots in that second half. Brandon Wissy had three. Dustin Brower was a force inside, had 10. And Josh Stecker off the bench had 11 points. He had a nice night. For the uh, Crusaders of Sheboygan Lutheran, uh, Sam Decker had 18 points, led all scorers. Zach Nicholson had not, had 10, nine of those coming in the first half. Dane Poth had three points. Carl Nimmer had a point. Jacob Wheeler had four. Zach Jensema, you saw him in the interview after the game, had uh, 10 points, made the uh, two free throws at the end to uh, seal the victory. He had eight points in the first half on four for four shooting. And Tyler Hosenstein rounding out the uh, scoring for uh, the Crusaders with uh, two. A 48-43 win by Lutheran runs their record to 17-6. Christian ends their season with a record of 9-15. Our next game will be uh, Saturday night when uh, Green Bay East visits Sheboygan North. Any uh, future tournament games that we cover, we'll make announcements in the paper for you there. Uh, Lutheran will play the winner of Living Word Lutheran against Elkhart Lake. That one took place tonight. We don't know who won that game. And uh, for the crew... Scott Mailoff running the dials in the truck. Richard Bartson on the floor camera. Steve Reiner on the top camera. For my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the tournament road.